Hello and welcome to Craft D&D, where this week we're going to make some spider nests. In order to make our nest, we're going to need some cardboard, a hot glue gun, some used dryer sheets, not new dryer sheets, but a used dryer sheet, a matchstick, some paint, some glue, the usual stuff. Another important item you're going to need is a piece of parchment paper or baking paper. I start out by laying out the baking paper or parchment paper, and then with my hot glue gun, I just make a bunch of little dots. These are going to be the eggs and then i just continue to dab out some eggs and add a little bit of extra hot glue after some of them dry just to give a some extra depth and then i just cooled them a little bit with a fan totally optional step you can wait a few extra seconds and then they'll be cool too the next thing i did was cut a little piece out of a cereal box and then i dabbed some glue to it kind of smeared the glue all around with my fingers it washes off real easy and actually I used some watered down glue not just straight glue but more of a watered down school glue with even more water added into it so once I had the glue all smeared out I just started to set the eggs those drops of hot glue just on the to the cardboard and kind of stack them up to give myself a nice uneven layer and the more uneven you can make that layer, the better. Get some nice bumps and some nice texture, stack some on top of each other. You have to glue them together, obviously, either with some hot glue or some PVA glue. But get yourself some nice interest in some nice texture. We're going to cover all that glue up, so feel free to make a nice little stack. And the next thing I want to do is just add a little bit more glue here, because I want everything to be stuck down nice and tight. And as you can see, that glue is really, really wet. That's because I'm going to use this dryer sheet, which I stretch out to give myself some nice texture and some open up those. So to look to look like a spider web is what I'm going for. I want it to look like a web, so I just kind of keep working at it, pulling at it, stretching it, working at it, pulling at it, stretching it, until you get the consistency you want. You should be able to see through it. You should have different texture. You should have different layers of it, just so that it's not uniform or even, but it's very very silky very very much like a spider web that's what you're going for the spider web then as you can see here once i lay that dryer sheet over my eggs and i just start working it in with the matchstick and trying to get that to stick down and kind of mold itself around those eggs a little bit not perfectly because i want there to be some gaps i want there to be some layers but i do want it to start to stick and to layer down I even go so far as to add even more glue on top of that and then work that glue in with the matchstick because I do want it to kind of mold to my eggs. I don't want it to just be totally covering on my eggs. I do want there to be a little bit of layer and a little bit of interest so you can see those individual eggs. But once again, that was why it wasn't critical that each of those bits of hot glue were like perfectly molded into an egg shape or something because for the most part, it's just going to be a suggestion that there's eggs there. We're not actually going to see the eggs there because you're sort of going to be covered up by this silky spider web that kind of covers up everything. And as you can see here, I have it kind of molded into place. You can definitely see the eggs through it. We're going to be adding another layer on top of this. Once this one starts to dry a little bit, but it doesn't have to be perfect. I just want to add another layer onto it. So what I'm going to do here is actually take a styrofoam ball and cut it in half because that's going to start to form my next layer up for my spider webs, for my spider eggs. And then I'm going to go ahead and cover that again with more um, dryer sheet, more of that spider web silk. That way it gives more layers of more interest. And you could eventually cut that open if you wanted to and bring some spiders out of it or something like that. I don't do it in this video, but you could absolutely start adding more and more interest by bringing out some smaller spiders, some spider swarms that way. As you can see here, the previous nests that I made are those, those top two nests up there. And I use those like on the, on the game table or whatnot for spider swarms and I could put a couple smaller spiders on them and then they 
player character if they get engulfed they're actually put in the middle of it uh and then these are more flat that way you can put up a, a uh, mini on them on this one here that i'm making with the extra layers it'll be more of like a, more of a centerpiece type item in the room and then the smaller spider swarm eggs can be moved around it uh, so this is like the next the next evolution to my spider nest, my flat spider nest that I would normally have been using on the table anyway. So to do this layer, it's just like the first layer. I take some dryer sheet and make it into that spider web looking silk again by stretching it all out. Obviously, I cut the right size first and then fit it over the new pieces. And I'm actually going to mount this whole piece onto another piece of cardboard just to give myself some more room to work with, another layer of depth, and some more support for the back of the cardboard because that wet glue, that watered-down glue, definitely starts to soak in and warp stuff. So I think add some more layers of that cereal box. It really helps. You can get thicker, that, that thicker uh, cardboard, like in the back of a yellow notepad which will work a little bit better but the cereal box works just as well and it also lets you layer some stuff up and kind of even hide where you overlap or wrap that spider silk that dryer sheet underneath of it and it gives you a spot to glue that onto and then make it nice and smooth and clean for the table so I just kind of stage everything up onto a sheet draw a little circle around it so I can have something to trace around as I cut it out and I'm also going to cut a matchstick in half just because I want to give myself a little bit of another layer, another dimension with my spider web. And I'm actually going to stack it up over a matchstick. That's entirely optional step. You definitely don't have to do that. But I'm just doing it here just to give myself a little bit higher dimension. Because as I said before, this is going to be more of a showpiece versus the flat ones are like my swarms that would engulf players. Next thing I do after I cut that matchstick is I need to glue it on. So I just use some hot glue here because it's going to be faster and even quicker to uh, set that stick in with a piece of hot with some hot glue than it would be with the PVA glue or the watered down PVA glue that would take forever to stand there and dry. The hot glue it just takes a few seconds and it's dry. And then I go ahead since I already have the hot glue gun out and glue those circles down too, those uh, cut up pieces of styrofoam. But you could definitely, you know, use your PVA glue for that if you don't want to use the hot glue. And you could have, you know, use PVA glue for all of it. So it's totally, totally optional. Next, I take another piece of that dryer sheet that I've already kind of pre-stretched out to you be in more of my spider web layer. And I'm going to go ahead and just loosely fit it over my eggs. Um, it's not going to be glued down and to the contour that the lower level was. It's a little bit more just a, it's more of a covering type layer. Think of a blanket that you're putting up over your, your eggs so that your eggs stay nice and warm. And to actually attach it, I'm going to just go ahead and use the hot glue gun this time. Um, maybe a little bit of PVA glue here and there, a drop here or there, but mostly just the hot glue gun just to kind of get it dried quickly and into place where I want it. Certainly wouldn't have to use a hot glue gun. You could do this whole project with the with uh, school glue or PVA glue, but since I already had it out, I just went ahead and used it here. Then I just go ahead and use some more of my watered down school glue. Uh, that's basically just some school glue that with some water added to it, about 50-50 maybe, and just kind of squirt that around and work it in a little bit a lot of, of the place is just kind of letting gravity kind of sag it in then i go ahead and prepare the next layer up which is going to be even more of a blanket type layer and once again just take that dryer sheet stretch it out and get ready to fit into place now i got a little off camera here but as you can see i'm just getting that smoothed out that next layer smoothed out and then i turn it over and just use my hot glue gun and add a little bit of glue here and there and I'm also adding a little bit of white glue into the it here and there just to kind of give it more of that mixture. And of course, as you can see here, the bottom has those layers. There's glue on there. There's different layers of the dryer sheet, that silk. And then I just want to put that into one final smooth layer that's uh, the final cardboard layer. That way it don't have all that ugliness if somebody were to flip the mini over. Or you don't going to have bits of glue getting all over the, your table or the rest of your terrain that you might have set out. 
So to do that, I just simply base it right onto the mini there. I use some, obviously use some glue, get things cut out to the size that I want. It's the same type of cardboard that I've been using all along. And that's really all there is to it. My next step is painting. Uh, and this one here, I'm gonna just use a little bit of yellow. As you've seen on the other two spiders, I used a little bit of different colors. I used more of a black on one of them, more of some greens and oranges on the other one. Obviously color them up however you want. And that's really all there is to it. Uh, and then uh, when things are dry, you're right there, ready for use on the table. And then you can have your own fun little spider swarms. Thank you for watching, and please like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon.